YouTube. It's your favorite duo with another banger. And today we're going to be talking about Clover Health. So now you're probably wondering why we're talking about some random insurance service company out in Tennessee. Well, they have found their way to Wall Street Bets and that stock started to head towards the moon. And basically this company, you know, provides you know, health insurance services, and they use a proprietary technology to figure out how to make insurance their patients cheaper while preventing, providing better medical outcomes. Pretty noble business. Sounds pretty cool to me. I deal with that in my line of work. So it makes sense. But they're not popping because what they're doing in the industry. They're popping because they have 140% short interest. So talk about that. Yeah, man. So kind of similar to what happened with GameStop, right? There's uh, companies out here that hedge funds are specifically going out and shorting to make more money. So what they're doing is basically they know that the the stock price is going to continue to drop and continue to drop. So they're actually um, making more and having a short interest of over 100 percent, which is their, their greed level is actually 40 percent higher than what it should be. Right. So 100 percent is, is pretty high right already. So anyway, the point that I'm trying to make is. With Wall Street bets, they try to find these companies with a short interest of, you know, 75 to over 100 percent or whatever. And then they really pump these stocks up. And this is another one. Right. Swaggy Stocks is a company that specializes in finding out how many mentions that uh, different stocks have on Wall Street bets. And as of right now, today, Clove has about 80 to 100 mentions. So. They're pumping this up. There's a lot of yellow involved with this. A lot of people are taking out their trust funds and all of yeah. their 401ks and getting involved with Clove. Yeah, um, and just to d uh, drill further into that, 100, 140% short interest means this. There's you know a finite amount of stock shares available, right? And the total number of those stock shares equals 100%. So when you have 140% short interest, that means... They are shorting more stocks that are even than are even available to be sold. So if a company has a hundred stocks on the market, they have shorted 140 stocks, mm -hmm. which means if we buy up all the shares and hold, they're going to be forced to cover. And there's nothing they can do to get out of it because they've shorted more stocks that are actually available. So that is a trick or an algorithm that people use to manipulate the market, so to speak. But one could argue you're manipulating the market if you short more stocks than are actually available to be bought. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I definitely agree with that. But the crazy part is retail investors are going up against these giants, right? And what these giants are going to do is they're going to probably trade amongst each other to so, so they can cover their short interest that's going on or the money that they actually have to put up from the retail investors going and, and making these prices go up. So at the end of the day, it's kind of a lose-lose for the retail uh, investor. Get in for sure, mm -hmm. play the game and get out. Don't be greedy because at the end of the day, you cannot beat billions and billions and billions of dollars with multiple institutions. Well, Mark Cuban said it best. He says, if Wall Street Bets wants to beat the hedge funds, they have to pick a better partner. So you can't be using Robin Hood and trying to do this. He said use, you know, something like Fidelity, somebody who makes their money not by routing order flows and stuff like that. So he says y'all should partner with those companies. So I think we learned a lot from the last uh, time with GameStop and everything. Mm -hmm. So I think this time they might actually be successful. I mean, look at GameStop. It still comes alive from time to time. Yeah, it definitely comes alive from time to time. But they were really going after Citadel, right? Yes. So... Citadel is not the only hedge fund that has billions and billions of dollars, right? Yeah. So my thing is, like, how many hedge funds are we trying to delete or come for? <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you knocked off one, which is great, but there's hundreds out there. Hey, man, it's all about getting money, man. If they can, It's all about getting money. If they can run up the bag, get a Mercedes, you know, a Tesla. Yeah, <laughs> well, I definitely feel that. Like we say all the time, please do your due diligence, right? Yeah. Only put what you can, only invest what you can afford to, right? So don't put in your life savings. Don't put in that, you know, 12 month savings that you've been uh, saving up because of the illness. Don't do any, don't take out your 401k. Don't get on, you know, an account off of margin and start losing all of your money. Don't, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, only put what you can. If you got $500 and that's all you can gamble with, do that. So the question is, will Young Equity get involved with Clover? Um, I was involved with it on Friday. 
Um, I swung it really. I mean, I made 50 bucks. I was a little scared. I put a stop loss on it. But I might get back involved next week. I'm going to watch it and, and see. I don't recommend anybody do it, but that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm a pass on Clover. Um, there's a, other stocks that I'm investing in, like Palantir, that a lot of people are talking about on Wall Street Bets. And I, actually, I'm going to focus on Dogecoin this week. Okay. That sounds good. Well, hey, thank you guys for checking out this video. It is your boy, Young Equity Chris. And it's your boy, Young Equity Devin. Let's get it. Let's go. Crawl.